Hello, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how to show different UI for uh, mobile and tablet or based on the width. Here, I will be showing two different ways to do that. One using the media query and other using the layout builders. So, let us start and as usual, I will be starting with an empty template. Uh, we are going to declare a variable which is a double. So, get the shortest side of the device with the help of media query. And I am going to declare another boolean variable uh, use mobile layout. So, that is going to determine if it is a mobile or a tablet. So, 600 is a common cutout for a 7 inch tablet, that is why we are using it. So, let us remove the container and use if, uh, if the mobile layout is true, we are going to call a function grid view for phone. So, that will show a grid view for the for a phone and otherwise it will show a grid view for a tablet ok. So, it will just change in the number of columns. So, let us write that. So, I am going to return a padding with the edge in sets of 5 and call the grid view dot count and set the other properties facing aspect ratio and cross axis count. So, there will be two columns on each row. So, list I am going to generate 100 uh, rows and we are going to return a card that will take a child. Let us set it as a container with an, anal with an alignment of center and um, ok set the color to colors dot red. So, let us use a variant. So, this will generate a list of red variants ok and set the child as a text which takes in text. So, it will display the index. Now, we'll copy that and use the same for the tablet, but we are just changing the axis count to 4 and the color to green so that we can identify. Now, let us run the app. So, we have two simulators here. So, if you do flutter run, it will show two devices. So, if you want to specify a particular device, use the device ID flutter run dash d and device id. So, I am going to run it in the iPhone XR. So, you can see we have two columns and when you rotate it, it will always show the two cells right. So, let us run the same thing on the tablet, the iPad air. Ok, so it should show 4. So, if even if you rotate this one also, it will show the 4 green cells. Alright, so let us get the orientation and change the number of cells when you change the orientation. Ok, so for that we are going to declare another variable say orientation equal to get the orientation from the media query ok and pass the orientation to our uh, methods ok let us declare it there pass it there orientation. So, if the orientation is portrait we are going to show two cells otherwise we are going to say four. So, if it is a tablet we are going to show let us declare that orientation. So, 4 and 6. So, let us run that in the tablet first because it is already running. So, if you rotate you can see 6 cells and on the portrait you will see 4. So, let us do this for the iPhone XR simulator. So, here, here you will see 2 and when you rotate that we should see 4. Ok, so upside down is not supported, so should see 4, ok. So, that is working, ok. Now, 
we are going to do almost same thing with the layout builder class all right so let's go back to the editor and uh, command out the body and write uh, the layout builder class as the body which will take the builder and the parameters is context and the constraints you will get the constraints here so with the help of the constraints you can determine the width let's take the max width of the device and set is if it is 600 if it is less than 600 we are going to show the iphone sorry the phone uh, view else we will show the tablet view so let's comment that out and we don't need the orientation here and remove that and make it to 2 and I'm going to comment that as well and remove that and we are going to show 4 so if it is less than 600 it's going to take the tablet layout right sorry greater than 600 then it should show the tablet layout so when it is when we rotate the device it is greater than 600 so it is taking the tablet layout so you can play around with that constraints have other uh, other uh, properties as well okay let's try that with the tablet here it will be, uh, will be always 4 because the width will always be greater than 600 you can have uh, your own logic to determine the width and the all those uh, diff for creating different UI you can uh, check the constraints properties you can have max height max width minimum height and minimum width so you can play around with that so let's run the phone version also again so you can see that on the bottom the cells are cut off so let's fix that so that so you can wrap it in it inside a safe area so that will take care of that so let's hot restart now that cutoff is gone the cells have shifted towards little bit to the top so that's how you build different ui for mobile and tablets so that's a tip for today Hope you like the video if you do please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching see you in the next video bye